Rick Dean of the T-Lazy 7 called and said, I bought a couple of stagecoaches and I'd like you to run them in town. And we gave them with these uh, big draft horses and I drove those guys, I'll bet you 10,000 miles <laughs> before it was over. And one of the challenges to driving that stagecoach was staying warm. So I had this guy make me this fur-lined cowboy hat. Throw me that hat, would you? This thing. And to begin with, it was flat. And that was my idea. I was going to wear a flat fur-lined hat like that. But what happens to these things is they get snowed on, and then they dry, and then they curl up so you look more like a Cossack when you put this on. <laughs> Yes. But I'm telling you, this is the warmest hat. And then in Aspen, it don't just snow a couple of inches. Some nights we'd get a foot and a half of snow. So one night, I got a fare out to the Aspen Club. And as I got out there, I started realizing I'm in a little bit of trouble here because the roads were just getting narrower and narrower. And I remember this taxi. He was sitting out there smoking dope because I could smell it. So I went over to this hopped up hippie in the taxi and asked him if he'd help me. And sure, man, I'll help you, you know. So both got on the back wheels of the stagecoach and we slid it around and I was threatening that team, George, you son of a bitch, you stay there now. Don't you dare move, I'm, I'm telling you, I'll kill you. And we'd slide it back around and on the second term, I felt him start to go and this job was starting to pay real well and everything was starting to work real well. And if those horses would have run off, they would have wrecked that stagecoach. They would have just totally wrecked my life. And I knew it in a flash. And I jumped in front of them and the tongue went right between my legs. And this hat went down like that. <laughs> it, all of a sudden, I was on the middle of a team of runaway horses. You know, uh, with stone blind, I was down there like that. And I could feel her feet. And uh, I was sitting on that tongue and I just ho started hollering, whoa, 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 and just trying to jerk their damn heads off. And I got them shut down probably 150 yards from where they took off. This guy in the taxi, he turns it around and comes back and he says, whoa, man, that was really something. And I can only imagine what that looked like to him, but I did get him shut down. But you know, when you, when you do something like that, you know, you see, you could have been killed by just one foot on a foot down there, dragging you down and the horse and the coach running right over the top of you. You know, uh, but desperate times call for desperate things, I guess.